hello everyone welcome back to this part 2 of youtube clone and in this video we'll be implementing rapid api to fetch dynamic data for all these videos as you can see we have this application right here that we built in the last video and this is all just a dummy data so if i show you in this file so this is the data we are displaying right now we'll get rid of this data and we'll use dynamic data to display in our application so rapid api have includes thousands of apis that you can use in your applications like baseball movie apis weather apis and all of the other apis as well we'll be using a youtube api so i've chosen this youtube version 3 alternative this is very easy to implement i'll just show you in minutes first you need to make sure that you are logged in using an email i've already logged in so first you need to subscribe to test this api We'll be choosing free plan because we're just testing this API uh, back to the API documentation. This is the testing environment and as you can see in the sidebar we have all these API endpoints. We will be using trending endpoint and here's a configuration for this endpoint. You can add all the parameters. These are the header params. You can see we have this type a parameter. We can pass music, games and language. And in the geolocation, you can pass your country's code and this will fetch the data accordingly. So here you can see a code snippet that you can use in your application. You can literally copy paste this code and this will work perfectly. Okay, so let's test this endpoint and see what results we get. Okay, so we are getting the data and the data includes 46 items and each of these items includes video ID, title, channel title, description and all of these thumbnails. So we can use this in our application to make our application dynamic. Uh, but before that, let me show you one cool thing. If you move to the code snippets um, here, you will see this code is uh, available for all the applications. So you can use in Java, Kotlin and PHP. We'll be using JavaScript Axios. So I will let me choose this and we will just copy paste this into our application. So just copy it. Let me make a folder for API. And we will use a file called youtube.js. Just copy paste this. And uh, first we'll need to install Axios. Just run npm i Axios. Okay, so this is installing. Then we'll need to make a function to fetch the trending videos. And we can pass the, all the dynamic parameters in this function. Uh, let's copy this into our function and Axios is installed so let's close this and uh, as you can see the best practice is not to use your API keys directly into your API calls so let's copy this rapid API key and move it to our constraints file let's create a variable rapid API key and we will import this into the YouTube file to use this rapid api key okay so now we need to pass all the parameters in this api endpoint as well just shoot the separate operator and use params like this okay so uh, we need to make this function async so that we can uh, use the await keyword so let's make this function async and then let's get the response from this api um, but before that let me just wrap it in a try cache block so if we get any errors we'll just console log this to see if you are getting any error let me just console log the error message dot message okay so we will just return an empty array if we got any error then we uh, need to get the response from this api we'll just copy paste axios dot request using these options and this will return us a response and uh, in axios you can get the data from response.data so we'll be returning response.data okay so we need to just remove this okay our function is done uh, now axios returns response.data but as you can see we saw in the results uh, we are we have one more data property in data so we need to re return data dot data because there is another data property inside data okay so let's try to implement this in our home screen 
we need to implement use effect hook so that every time the component mounts we will call this api and we will reload the data so let's make a function fetch data and we need to make this function async fetch data this will be an async function because we will be using await keyword const data await and we need to use that function that we made in the youtube file now let's try to console log the first item and see what data we have video we will just console log the first item in the list okay so now let's just save this and see if we got any data okay, so we got the first video that means it's working let me just copy and format this because it's looking very ugly uh, we have this json formatter here and uh, this json is broken let me just fix this this needs to be here okay so let me format this data so that you can see easily okay now we're getting a channel id channel thumbnail channel title description and all of the data that we need to show in our application now let's get back to the application and uh, use this data let's make a video state videos and uh, it should be videos and set videos use state by default this will be empty and we will no longer be using videos from dummy data we also need to comment this suggested video for now like this and uh, this should be the same because we will be setting all the videos in this variable so it's all good now let's uh, set the videos and see what happens set videos So now as you can see we are already getting the data and this is all dynamic data coming from the rapid API. We won't be making these shorts dynamic because I didn't find an API endpoint for shorts in the API that we are using. So this is, will be using dummy data but for all the other videos we will be using dynamic data. So now we need to fix this duration because this is uh, uh, not fetching or we are just using the different property and we also need to make this thumbnail work okay so let me just move to the video card here and uh, we are using the video duration but let's see what we are getting in the api data okay we are getting uh, length text so let's use that and text here and now we're getting the durations now let's see uh, how this avatar is going to work and for that we have this channel thumbnail so let's just copy this channel thumbnail and copy this into our image like here now we are displaying the channel thumbnail as well now our implementation is done but uh, we need to make the channel titles a little short because some of the title names are too big that they are gone over two lines like this one here so we need to fix that let's make a condition here so that if the channel title goes over 20 characters we will just slice it and it will show the first 20 characters otherwise we will just show the channel title ok now we are slicing the data but we also need to pass three dots like this ok it's all good now now the second thing that we need to fix is the views so views are showing like this now we need to format them so let's create a file numbers now we can use this function to format our views like if the views goes over to the a million or goes over the thousand then this will format them accordingly now let's save this and use it for the views okay let's copy this and uh, use the function okay so the views are formatted and the channel title is formatted now everything looks perfect and we are getting all the data from rapid api now our application is completed and if you still have any questions about anything you can ask them into the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible make sure you like and subscribe the channel and i will continue making more videos like this until then see you in the next video